Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Now this is one more video on issue of sheds. I hope you have watched my earlier two videos on this chapter. If you haven't, please click on the description, the link given in the description box below and please watch the previous two videos also. Okay. Now, in this sum, we talk about calls in advance. The concept of calls in advance. Let us see what the sum has got to tell us. X Limited issued 5,000 shares of 10 each, payable as 3 on application, 5 on allotment and 2 on the first and final call. Okay, so we have 3 installments here, application, allotment and the first and final call. And that sums up to 10, 3 plus 5 plus 2, 10. All money due was received. That means there were no calls in arrears. A shareholder holding 200 shares paid the entire amount due along with the application money itself. Prepare the journal entry and make the calls in the advance account. Now, here one shareholder who was holding 200 shares could not wait till the company, you know, calls and asks you, why pay kar do. He has, you know, paid the entire amount in advance. Okay, so if the company is, is allowed by its articles of association, he calls in advance, accept kar sakte hai, fine, the shareholders can pay in advance. Ideally, they also receive an interest on calls in advance. So that is the advantage that the shareholders get. But interest you will deal with in a different sum. First thing you understand, how do we go about uh, recording calls in advance? So let us see, application ke time kya hai? I have issued 5,000 shares, application money is 3 rupees per share, so how much should I have received in, uh, at the time of application? 5,000 into 3, that is 15,000 rupees. 15,000 milna chahiye tha, lekin the over enthusiastic shareholder that we have has paid us the application money, allotment money and the call money on his 200 shares only. Ye yaad rakhe. Poore 5,000 pe pura paisa nahi milta hai. It is only on these 200 shares that I am receiving the allotment money and the call money along with application. So obviously, 15,000 will be How much is the amount due on allotment? 5. So 5 rupees bhi de diya hai per share or 2 rupees bhi de diya hai per share. Meaning total advance bhi kitna de diya hai? 7 rupees per share. So 7 rupees per share on 200 shares, we have got it at once. So 200 into 7, that comes to 1400. So 15,000 and another 1400. So that is 16,400. So you have application ke time, not 15,000, 16,400, including the advancement. Clear? So here you have to be very careful whenever you have advancement. Paisa abhi aa gaya, pehle aa gaya, allotment or share call ke time mein ye paisa fir se nahi aa ga. You have to understand this. This shareholder holding 200 shares has already paid me the entire amount in advance. Will he again pay me at the time of allotment? No. Will he pay me at the time of share call? No. He's already paid me the amount. So ye paisa mene leke rakh liya hai. This I will have to adjust as and when this amount is due. Meaning, when the company will call for allotment money, he will not pay. Okay, uska advance abhi adjust kar do. Call money due, he will not pay. Okay, the remaining advance I will adjust. So, let us see how do we do the adjustments in the next installments. This application money we need to transfer to share capital. Okay, so share application account will be debited to the entire 16,400 that we have received. Lekin isme se capital ke liye kitna maanga tha? Only 15,000, meaning 5,000 into 3 rupees. This was due an application. We cannot credit the share capital anything more than that right now. Jitna call kiya hai, utna hi credit kar sakte hai, usse zada nahi credit kar sakte hai bhi, because we haven't made the call. So share capital will be credited only with 15,000, the amount due on application. Yeah. So what do we do with the remaining amount? 1400 ko kaha dal? In the respective installment pe dal dal dal? Out of this 1400, 200 shares pe 5 per share allotment money hai. 
meaning thousand rupees I have received for share allotment. So I will credit share allotment. Uska paisa uska account mein dal do. Share allotment ke time mein so that I know at the time of allotment ki ye ek azar mein ko already mil chuka hai. Dobara nahi mil hai, right? So this share allotment money account needs to be transferred with the advance I receive one thousand. ठीक है, this is on those two hundred shares, five per share, advance money I transfer to this. Allotment के above जितना भी advance रहता है, चाहे जितने भी calls हो उसके बाद first call, second call, third call, सब कुछ एक account में club करके डाल देते हैं calls in advance. We do not open all the accounts right. सारा amount allotment के beyond them से will be transferred to calls in advance. तो ये thousand rupees के बाद और कितना advance बचा? टू पर शेयर ऑन फर्स्ट पर 400 रुपीस इस स्टिल इन एडवांस वो मैं कॉल्स इन एडवांस अकाउंट में ट्रांसफर करती हूँ क्लियर सो दिस ट्रांसफर एंट्री बिकम्स इम्पोर्टेंट व्हेन एवर वी हैव अ कॉल्स इन एडवांस क्लियर वी विल सी 16,400 15 चला गया कैपिटल के लिए अलॉटमेंट के लिए हमको मिल गया हजार � the share allotment money is due. When it is due, I totally debit the entire amount to share allotment. 5 rupees hai per share, 5,000 shares hai. I should be receiving 25,000 shares and I have credited that amount now to share capital. Abhi share capital ko allotment money se credit kar diya. Right? But when I receive the allotment money, I need to adjust the advance I have received. So here, bank account when I debit for allotment money, I will not receive the entire 25,000. I will receive 1,000 less because ye shareholder has already 1,000 pay kar liya. So this amount I am adjusting here. Allotment ke liye. Clear? Whatever I will receive in advance, I will not receive again. So I subtracted that from the allotment money. Abhi mujhe kitna milega? 24,000. Clear? So bank account debit to share allotment 24,000, not 25,000. मेरा शेयर अलॉटमेंट अकाउंट क्लोज हुआ है या नहीं हुआ? बिकॉज़ क्लोज होना होता है ट्रांसफर एंट्री के बाद, रिसीव बाय बैंक एंट्री के बाद। शेयर अलॉटमेंट आई हैव क्रेडिटेड हाउ मच? 25,000। हियर आई हैव क्रेडिटेड शेयर अलॉटमेंट विद 24,000 एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रेडिटेड विद 1,000 हियर। सो डेबिट इज इक्वल टू द क्रेडिट। 25, 25. Okay? This is just a cross check so that you don't go wrong somewhere. Because journals में ऐसा कुछ है नहीं ना कि वो tally करना है, balance sheet का total से के तुम करोगे. So these are small little cross checks that you should be doing so that you don't go wrong with journals. Okay? Then, come to the next installment which is first and final call. First and final call में कितना due था? 2 rupees per share, so 5,000 and 2, 2. So that is 10,000 share. 10,000 rupees. 10,000 rupees I should have received, but how much will I actually receive? I will have to adjust the calls in advance. Okay? So this is due, so I have credited 10,000 to share capital. Okay? Share first and final call debit to share capital. This is the usual entry. Then when we receive the money, we do advance money or minus because of the way we have done for allotment. So 10,000 minus 400, 9,600 comes to my bank right now. Calls in advance 400 and debit kya mene kyun? Kyunki when this I have received, this is a liability form. That's why I have credited it. This calls in advance is a short term, a current liability for me because ye thode hi din hai, it will not remain a liability because ab मैंने already shareholders को बोल दिया है calls कर pay कर दें। Apart from this shareholder, everyone is supposed to pay me। तो अब तो कोई advance वाला बात ही नहीं है ना। There is no concept of advance anymore। He has paid me money, he was supposed to pay me right now। So that liability is gone। So this is to write off the liability। So calls in advance also account has been closed। So this is done and share final call has been credited with ten thousand। That is also closed. Alright, this is how we go about the journal entry. You have also been asked to prepare calls in advance account. Now the council sometimes asks you to make prepare certain ledger journal entries, so journal, uh, certain ledger accounts and maybe not all. 
So let us see how from the journal itself we make a small ledger account which is very simple. Cons in advance. When does it come first time here? Here. This is calls in advance account. Debit. Uh, credit. We are crediting calls in advance account. So it will be on the credit side. This is the debit side of the account. This is the credit side. What account am I correspondingly debiting? Share application. So here I debit by share application and 400. So this account was opened like that. Okay. And next, when is share called in advance coming into picture? Here. When I am debiting it with 400, so debit side my guy, yeah. And which account am I corresponding to crediting? Share, first step, final call. Alright? So this account is closed, no balance left here. So 400 and 400. Alright? Pretty simple? Good enough. So keep watching more of my videos and we will come back with interest on calls in years and advance in the next video. So please do subscribe to my channel if you want to keep notified. Be notified about the next uh, uploads and please do like my video if you have enjoyed watching it. Thank you.